Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Mike here. Hope you're having a great day or night. Today's video, guys, I got something kind of cool in the mail uh, from a previous video from a storage unit video I put out there that went viral. We'll talk about that and what was going on with that. Uh, also, just going to be staying busy, uh, listing items, packaging up orders, just the typical stuff as we do as a reseller. So let's see what we do today. All right, just got a return in the mail here, and the uh, buyer said that the case was dented in shipping. So let's open it up here and see what's going on. There's the packing slip. Let's open this up. Let's throw that there. Let's throw that there. He's like, you know, I like it, but it's just dented. So, uh, here it is, Gears of War, uh, I don't see a, oh, there's a dent right there. So, could it have possibly happened in shipping? Possibly. Let's put this down here, let's take a look at what, if he decided to maybe just swap out discs, I think he just swapped out cases. People are just so damn cheap. Let's see. All right, let's see what we got. There's the discs. Yeah, don't appear to be anything crazy with them. So, we'll just refund him and uh, move on forward with it and just release this. Obviously showing the slight damage that's on the case right there. Um, I guess to that collector, that's an issue. It uh, wasn't like that when I sent it, so maybe it happened in the mail, maybe he swapped it out, I don't know. We're just going to move on and uh, give him his money back and then relist it. Let's take a look at what's sold here. I uh, paid $2 and some change for this Tommy Bahama Men's Solid Yellow Floral Hawaiian shirt. It was a size small. It sold for $19.30 plus $6.70 shipping for a total of $26 shipped. I picked this up in a storage unit. It's a Trolls Blu-ray disc from 2017. It was brand new and sealed. It sold on sale for $10.56 shipped. I paid a quarter for this at a garage sale. It's an Amazon FBA employee workers gray uh, embroidered polo shirt 2XL. And this sold uh, for $24.95 shipped. These two came out of two different storage units. One was completely jacked up. As you can see on the left, the screen was pretty roached. And the other one just uh, it had some issues to it. Uh, the top screen wasn't working properly and it wasn't reading any games. So I uh, just decided to light them up. Uh, there are two Nintendo DS Lite pink and white video game systems for parts and repair. And this sold on sale for $18.15 shipped. On to Etsy. This item literally sat on my Etsy store for a good year and a half. Uh, I paid a dollar for it at the thrift shop. It's a 1990s Herman's Hermit Barry Witwam concert tour vintage t-shirt size small. Sold for $21 plus $4 shipping for a total of $25 shipped. This is also something that sold on Etsy. It came out of a storage unit. Uh, from last year, which I totally forgot to make a video for that. So at some point here, I'll be making a video of it and showing you guys what I scored out of here. It was pretty epic. Uh, it's a 1990s Chattanooga Lookouts Minor League Baseball AA New Era Pro Model hat, vintage snapback hat. Uh, ended up selling for $16 plus $4 shipping for a total of $20 shipped. So it's slow going on my other eBay account there where I'm closing down at the end of the month. I'm going to do an update video once the end of the, end of the month here uh, has transpired. But uh, this shirt sold, it was a consignment deal, so Jeff, I owe you a couple bucks on this one. It's a Porsche Scottsdale, Arizona Cayenne Crew white cotton graphic t-shirt, size large, sold for $10.41 shipped. And the last item that sold on that account is a t-shirt I picked up at a flea market. No, I take that back, I'm sorry, thrift shop for $1. Uh, 90s Nike Just Do It For Fun For Me Sport Gray USA Vintage T-Shirt Large. Uh, just couldn't get rid of this darn thing, and finally it sold uh, $9.77 shipped. Making progress, Kim. Yes, I am. We are om you're almost done here. Yeah, people better excuse the craziness of the house. The kitchen's a mess. <laughs> but look at how nice that looks. Uh, pretty amazing, just a little stain can do. We've got one more step right there to finish, and then... Um, we got to apply the hardware and should be done with the next day or two. Looks pretty spiffy. So this is it, just a paintbrush and stain? That's it. Just like that? Just like that. Pretty remarkable. Who would have known? Me. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, so two months ago, I bought a storage unit up in Glendale, Arizona. I made a video about it. I had to call the police. Basically, the items were not there. And it was a big ordeal. And I uh, posted the video, and it absolutely went viral, okay? It's funny to me, you know, all these years of making videos, that a video like that is something that goes viral. I'll just show you that, that, you know, anything's crazy, anything's possible. I'll put it this way. I made a crazy amount of money on the video, just in terms of AdSense, to be honest, and upfront with you guys. But this is a follow-up to it. Um, there was a lot of people commenting, and honestly, if you want a good chuckle, if you want to look at just how crazy uh, the world is, and then people on YouTube in general, not, not everyone, but certain people, it's just, go watch that video. There'll be a link down below. You can check it out. And uh, <laughs> it's definitely interesting because um, I, obviously when something like that goes viral, there's no way to reply to everybody, and there's no reason to reply to, to f people that are crazy. Um, but everybody had a different opinion, and I respect that. There's no doubt. There was uh, stuff I had to delete off there because people were just like, you know, just obnoxious. <laughs> but there's still a lot of good comments up there. There's a lot of comments that are just absolutely crazy. And I'm going to read one of them to you right now. All right, so here's one of the comments. Uh, it says, okay, so it's bullshit that this happened, but you're not owed anything just for wasting your time and gas. They gave you the money back that you paid for the unit. And what you expect them to pay you more just because you use some time and gas to go down there to unload the unit but only it was empty whiny little bitch that would be like going to a store to purchase something that you saw on the website only they don't carry it in the store so you demand them pay for your gas and time again it's bullshit that this happened but you're in the wrong asking for money for time and gas and that's from killer seven underscore two here's another one here from ender in kitty gaming the only thing you would be entitled to here is your purchase expense back from the website and only because you made the purchase based on pictures that showed what should be in the locker, which turned out to be misleading when you went to collect. Here's another one from JM, no one give a shit about your time. Then he replies back to himself, not trying to be offensive, just telling the truth. Here's another winner, uh, Anthony C. Uh, Cheto, Cheeto, whatever his name is. Pay you for your time. WTF, are you smoking? <laughs> Here's Steve Connor. What's this about compensating? Or actually, I'm sorry, he couldn't spell that correctly. Compensating for his time. No wonder people think the younger generation is self-absorbed. Shit happens, and he got his money back. Here is uh, DK. Too many ex-wives. That's a problem. Getting money for time and gas and other sad move on, but did at least what you paid for the auction. Honestly, can't understand half these people. It's crazy. There we go. Here's uh, Joe Sapetta. I'm sorry for the issue, but why would you ask for money for your time? It's not like they forced you to buy a unit so far away. Once they refunded you, it's not your issue anymore. Whoever took the crap is who should compensate you, if anything. Kayak Uprising. The only thing I disagree with you on is paying you for your time. The storage unit or auction company sold you a unit. They could care less if you live next door or in Bangladesh. That's your problem. If they were funding you the money you paid for the unit, then you have been refunded. And to sum it up, because I'm just getting sick to my stomach looking at these comments, uh, whatever this name is here, wow, I wish I could get a refund on the waste of time I spent watching this. <laughs> okay, so here's what ended up happening. Um, I contacted the storage unit facility place. Uh, as I mentioned in the video, I talked to corporate, and um, somebody had called me back. Originally, it was the first guy I spoke to when I was at the scene of uh, the investigation of the crime, right? Um, we spoke a couple times. And then my video went out there, and like I said, it went completely viral. It's got over 800,000 views on it, and um, they must have saw it. I'm being, being honest. And I told them this before. I said, listen, this is an issue, and um, you know, your name and company is all over this here. So again, you're going to rectify me for my time and gas spent. And um, they did. All right? I kind of crossed out things here, but you can freeze the video, and you can see this is where they're from. And I will open this up and show you the check, but I'm not going to show you the full amount because really it's nobody's business, it's between us and them. But I can give you a follow-up on the story of what actually happened here. Um, after they looked through the camera footage, somebody actually did spend some time to look through it, they were able to determine that the individual came there the night before and uh, actually slid in through the gate. Another car went through and he came pulling in right behind the other car, went to his locker, cut the lock, took everything out, and that's what it was. They do know who they are, they do... Uh, uh, basically going to file charges against them as far as what they told me but other than that it's out of my hands and um you know it's just that's the way the story goes but the u.s storage centers up in glendale were very nice about um 
the situation. They were understanding. At first, they, they were kind of like, yeah, whatever. But I think once they saw the video and uh, the publicity from the video go out there, um, they changed their tune because um, I just clicked on it. I remember three, four hours after I made the video, uh, people were saying, yeah, we need to slam this company with uh, stuff on uh, the Google shopping and this is that and i looked at some of the stuff and there was some pretty bad reviews people had left but um you know it was an unfortunate situation and it should never have happened but you know um i can't say that uh it's a once in a lifetime thing i'm i'm sure it's from what i was reading in the comments it's happened to other people there was actually somebody there at the facility that bought a unit with me and uh he had something like that similar to ha happen to him but at the, all i can say is this is i'm very thankful that for many reasons to document that mistake. I'm also thankful that uh, the video went viral and I made some cash off it. And I'm also thankful I got a check. So let me open this up and I'll show you the check. So I'm not going to really show any personal information here, but um, as you can see there, West Glendale self-storage unit. Um, this is a check to the order of me and for an amount um, that's uh, on here. So, um, you know, um, I did get compensated for my time and uh, the gas and everything like that. And I'm okay with this. And then the case is closed as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I still will buy from this company. I was actually looking at today. There was a bunch of auctions ending over there, just uh, but nothing really I saw that was worth money. So, um, but you never know. It is what it is, and uh, you know if you push hard enough and and you know you contact people and say, "Listen, you did me wrong," they will t compensate you for your time and your commitment there because um, it could have gotten crazy in a, in a court of law. That's for sure. And um, trust me, I would have won. And this check that they're giving me here today would have been nothing for the damages that I would have gotten over time. All right, to sum up today's adventures here um, with the storage unit, uh, it was a learning experience. There's no doubt about it. And uh, I'm be honest with you, I'm very grateful it happened to me because putting this video on YouTube would, made it just go viral. Viral enough where the actual company heard it and decided, hey, this was wrong and we're going to rectify the problem, which they did. There's no doubt about it. U.S. Storage Centers sent me that check and um, they did the right thing. There's no doubt about it. Uh, that there. Um, I didn't really want to take legal action because a lot of times with legal action, it's it's along the lines of just uh, you're spending money to obviously try to win a case, but there's more time and aggravation and money involved in what's worth it in that situation, right? So, um, you know, um, like I said, this is the first time it's ever happened to me in 20 years of uh, buying storage units that uh, <laughs> I go there and somebody cleared out the locker. So uh, I'm assuming as the Time moves forward as life keeps progressing. More craziness will happen with anything I do. Storage units, thrift shops, whatever it is. It's life. Life's craziness. <laughs> so I appreciate all of you guys watching today's video. Appreciate all the guys and girls that watched the video there that went viral. Almost 820,000 views. That's just mind-blowing to me. So uh, hopefully you're out there making some cash. Well, hopefully you're out there taking some chances with your business. Maybe look at into storage units and... Uh, flea markets and look at all these different opportunities that exist out there for reselling. So go out there, be great. Till next time, I'm out of here. Peace. Vlog over.